commentary, Done by Diggity, this is going to be the second match of BSL Season 13 Group B between Rancor and Advil. Upper left-hand corner, we have Advil starting as the brown Terran. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Rancor starting as the white Zerg. And in Game 1, if you missed it... By the way, best of threes from here on out. I got a lot of games to cast. If you're catching this one, you're like, wait a minute, I thought I caught all of... All of the uh, games that Diggity's casting... I'm trying to actually cast a few at night here and there, mostly because as these are best of threes, there's just a huge volume of games to try to catch. Anyway, Rancor, game one, going to Hatch Hydra, which I think was well scouted on his part. He saw that there was a lack of Marines on the front door. I think he had a really good analysis that he was going up against Mech. And rather than opting to go for the long-term play, he opted to end the game rapidly and went for a two-hatch muta bust, or a two-hatch muta, two-hatch Hydra bust. And that just shows you, I think, a glimpse into Rancor's playstyle. And that's really what took him so far in previous seasons is just that extreme early aggression to get advantages over his opponent, keep them off balance. And then somehow, what it's the amazing part of Rancor's play is, is his ability in the midst of that to maintain a balance between units and somehow climb his economy up in the midst of that. Doing cancellation trick on... The drone to go ahead and sneak an extra drone out. He does have that spawning pool being built. Overlord's going to scout right hand to the right, I should say. I want to say like right hand bottom corner. Too many words. So I'll just say it this way, which makes even more words. Refinery. Uh, we do have a barracks. And so I am expecting to see another mech build, potentially for Advil. Now on this map, this is good night. I believe this might be a little bit more successful. Thing with mech is you need a couple things. You need time, you need gas, and also you need a touch of uh, positioning to kind of just barrel down at your opponent. Strike at the national expansion. Comparatively though, against mech, Zerg needs to play in a position where they get a, a solid economy to follow this up. Now here's a problem for Advil. This might be a very, very fast game because we got six Zerglings moving out. The drone has scouted this base. A supply depot is blockaded along the way. And because there is no front door seal and no bunker, these Zerglings might get a significant amount of damage. I'm going to follow kind of what Gypsy said. Gypsy and Iok and several high-level Terran players, if you can go for a front door seal, just go for it. There's no cost. But two Marines making their way out to the front to go ahead and repel these Zerglings. This is going to be a lot of lost mining time, though, because this is six, technically seven idle SCVs. These are the only necessary idle ones here for Advil. Looks like he is going to pull one off. Zergling's going to go ahead and pull back from Rancor. Perhaps wants to kill that SCV before he continues with his build order. Natural expansion just about finished. Yeah, it looks like they're heading back towards the main. Upon feeling like, okay, first of all, I don't need to worry about this. Rancor, intelligent player. Looks like that SCV sneaking out to see if the Zerglings are nearby. A little bit concerned. But now the six Zerglings are popping up. In that corner. Now, critically, behind all of this, two SCVs were scouted and nothing else. So Rancor doesn't necessarily know that he's going up against mech play. And also, it looks like that gas was somewhat delayed, and he might be a little bit later on that layer than he would have been otherwise. So layer now morphing. He does have two hatcheries up. Natural expansion is not saturated in any way, shape, or form. He's still sitting at 13 drones. He tends to play a low drone count to begin with. A bunker being placed at the natural expansion, Advil respecting potential Zergling play run by Zerglings. Zergling speed is being upgraded. That will help out against an unsped upgraded Vulture. And so I don't know that... Actually, honestly, with that opening, I'm a little surprised that Advil opted to go for... A, it's okay to, to sit with the mech play, but I'm a little bit surprised he decided to opt to push this Vulture out as far as a follow-up. Another SCV trying to get additional scouting information, not able to do so. This is a cadre of 10 zerglings that vulture hoping to get free zergling kills and the refinery actually advil pulling off gas to sneak out a few additional minerals in the midst of this which is definitely going to slow down additional mech play and rancor looks like he wants to go for a zergling all in vulture will help against that so this is going to be three marines two scvs to defend on the front he's going to need to pull scvs now and it looks like he is pulling scvs so he sees it coming is rancor going to be able to hold the zerglings trying to flood through 
handful of them sneak by. They get on top of that vulture. That vulture's taken out. The SCV's not getting to repair that bunker, though. They are isolated out by those Zerglings. Rancor going to be able to take out those Marines almost instantaneously. However, only four Zerglings remain. But those Zerglings getting a decent amount of damage done. That's two SCVs down. Plus all of the defense army. It looks like that command center's still going to finish. Delaying that command center completion. SCVs repairing each other, looking to engage. But keep in mind, speed upgraded Zergling is pretty intelligent. Is this another vulture? Looks like there is another vulture and more marines being built. So Rancor continuing to delay economy, building a third hatchery in base once again. Is he going to go for... Looks like he is building Spire this time. And I think that's the wise decision, given everything that he's seeing on the ground. See, it's so difficult once those <laughs> Zerglings are speed upgraded. The Zergling and the Vulture dying simultaneously. But two more Zerglings in the midst of this. The Marines holding up high. Now the just Rancor is really making Advil work for this. And he's having an incredibly difficult time defending. More Zerglings flooding across the ramp. I think he just wants to force Advil to continue to pump Vultures and delay any sort of additional anti-air. Looks like an engineering bay trying to be built. But Rancor, in the meantime, does have that Spire up. So I just... A few Mutalisks, even four Mutalisks at this stage, could win him the match. There's only two Marines on the ground. The Engineering Bay is quite a ways away. There's a lot of ground to cover for Rancor to get there, but keep in mind the Engineering Bay has to build and the turret has to build in order to have sufficient anti-air, and this is only at the natural expansion. So Rancor has a grouping of five Mutalisks, somehow banked enough for five Mutalisks behind all of this, still sitting at a low drone count. And this is what I mean. Where does he get the money for this? More vultures sneaking out. There is going to be a something colony behind this. Rancor is so next level. Knows he's going to press out with those mutalisks. Doesn't want to have to chase down these vultures. So already getting that something colony in place. He is going to have to potentially block. It looks like he's leaving a mutalisk at home base even in the midst of this. And now the mutalisk is diving into the main. A desperate army trying to be built. Let's see if that turret even gets up. That turret in construction. The SCV building it dies. The SCV building the armory also perishes, and the Mutalists are just taking their time picking off every SCV building anything. It looks like the well, some vultures managed to sneak in, get some damage, but got picked off otherwise. One of them at least got picked off. More vultures are sneaking down that direction. So currently, Advil not mining at his main, the armory being picked away at. More Mutalists are flooding forward. There's still three vultures hanging outside of Rancor's base. And I think that is going to be too little too late. Seven Mutalisks now poking away at that armory. And I don't think turrets are going to be sufficient, honestly. Because if you end up, first of all, just two Marines. No additional Marines being built, which is wise on Advil's part. They just die almost instantaneously as it is. But right now, the way it looks, Rancor is going to easily win this match. Ran Rancor focuses on a supply depot for some reason. There's GG. Well played by Rancor. He advances to the winner's match. Advil moving to the loser's match. Rough one through uh, two very, very early aggressive openers from Rancor. We'll see how Advil does in the loser's bracket. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.